Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use the append feature in Power Query. And I'll go through two examples. One being a simple example where let's say I have three types of files. These are department files. We see HR, IT, and legal. They have the same column fields, first name, last name, and email. And these are separate sheets, but they all have the same four columns. And I want to join them all and append them all into one file. So we have HR first, IT second, legal third. And just an example, because I'm just doing HR first and IT second and legal third. And this is if you have certain files, you don't have that too many files, and you only do this on a ad hoc basis. If we are doing this on a reoccurring basis, and you don't want to keep doing this for each file that you get. Let's say you do this on a monthly basis. There's a period. And this is where example two comes in where maybe initially we had Q1 data here and Q2 data and instead of change instead of the department here I just changed the period here we have Q1 and Q2 but later on we have Q3 Q4 and then the next fiscal year we want to just add those files into a folder and have Power Query automatically appended at the end the format's still going to be the same we have our four columns now I showed quarters here and really you're only going to be doing this uh, four times a year, but let's say this was something that's done monthly or even weekly. So you don't want to keep adding the files one by one manually. You just want to put it into a folder and refresh Power Query to do this. So I'll show you these two examples. So let's go into Excel to see how it's done. So here we are in Excel. Let's do the first example where we have our departments. First the thing I need to do is load those Excel files into Power Query. So we go under Data and we go to get data from file from workbook and this will bring up Windows Explorer so here I'm just gonna double click it and bring in that Excel file into the Power Query navigator and once that navigator is open I'll bring in a sheet one there's only one sheet in there you'll see that the first row that it's seen the first row is this generic column row and then I'm gonna have to do some transformation of this data before I load it in so click on the transform data and that brings us into the Power Query editor Double click that to make it a little bit smaller. I need to bring this as the first row. So under home, use first row as headers, and that's done. I can click close and load. Let's just call this one HR. This one was HR, and we'll change that. Click close and load, and this is going to load only as a query. We just want it to load only as a query, and I have to do the same thing with the other files. So I have only create a connection, click OK. You can see here it's created that connection. I have to do the same for the IT one and then also for the legal one. So I'll just go ahead and speed through this one. So here we have our files. I can just select any file open it, double click the open it, and under home, go to append queries. Usually it's probably a good idea to append these queries as a new query and don't mess up your existing files. I like to do that. Append it as a new query. It's going to give us a new name. Let's say I only had these two queries in my file. Let's just pretend that I didn't have the legal one yet. So if I just had two tables, I can go and select IT, click OK, this will be the first append. You can see that it's appended it, right? You have HR and IT. Click close and load. Let's load it to a worksheet. We'll load it to a table or new worksheet. and Click OK. Now we have our first append. Now later on, if I wanted to add legal, let's say later on, maybe an hour later or a day later, I want to add it. All I need to do is double click it and append queries. I don't need to do append as new. I just append queries. This one's already there. And the one I have the HR and IT query or file, I want to append legal to it. Click OK. And now that's there. Click close and load. It's going to load it here. So that's if we didn't have them all at the same time. Maybe we needed to wait a day. But you can, you can notice that there was an option there to append all three tables. Let's delete this. And we'll see what happens. I'll delete this query. Click delete. And let's remove this. And you can see right click delete double click the HR query and then append is new 
and I have three or more tables. So I can actually add them all here. I have the HR one that's already selected, add the IT one, add the legal one, click OK, and they're all here. Click close and load, load and load to the worksheet, and I can just put it into, I'll put a table, and let's put it into a new worksheet. I'll just have it put into a new worksheet. Click OK, and we have that all there. Now, if you wanted to go into the M code, I'll go into something a little bit extra at the end of this video, but let's go into our second example. So to revisit our second example, that was when we had two files, each representing a quarter, and maybe later on, this is something we did in a, we, we did on a reoccurring basis, and we just wanted to add those two files in there, and la maybe later on in Q3 and Q4, we wanted to put that file into a folder and have it. Power Query automatically do this. So let's see how that's done. I'll go into data and get data. And instead of getting from the file, I'm going to get it from a folder. Here I've navigated to that folder where I have my two files, my Q1 and Q2 file. Select that, click OK. Here, click OK. And here we have a window that is looking at the folder structure and all the metadata behind there. And we need to combine these two files. We have a Q1 and Q2 files. So Power Query is nice enough to ask us how we want to combine it. Do we want to combine it and transform it, combine and load and load? We would select the first option where we want to combine and transform the data. So what Power Query is going to do, it's going to do all these other steps in order to get us there. Click on, click on uh, combine and transform data. It's evaluating the query. It's going to bring it in. You can see that it's going to look at the first file as a sample. And we see our first file is our Q1. And we're going to use that and do the transformation there because they're all going to be the same. So we're going to do the transformation there. And it's going to apply those steps to the rest of the files that it sees there and later on when we pull it in there. So we're going to use this first file as our kind of template. Click OK. And all we're going to do here is put, those, put the first column or the first row as a header. We can have our first row as a header. That takes care of that. So we have our header header row here. You notice that it's also given us this extra column to indicate which file it's taking it from. Uh, well, let's change this. We'll call this uh, file name. We can. We don't really need this column in here, but I'll keep it in here for the demo's sake. Here, I'll just call this file name. Right, and you'll you'll see that it's picked up the file name. Q1 here and Q2 here. Also, it's picked up the header from the second file name, so I'm going to remove that. They're all going to have the same file name, last name, email, and period header column names. So I'll just uncheck that, and it's going to remove that off any subsequent files that you add in that folder. So I'll click OK. We have that there. You can see all the steps that it's done. It's also have all these other helper queries to get us to pull that those files from that folder. Click close and load. Let's put this into a new worksheet. New worksheet, click OK. And now we have Q1 and Q2. So as I mentioned before, maybe this is something that happens on a recurring basis. The columns are the same. We just want to put that folder, that file into that folder and have Power Query automatically do it. We just click one step and it'll do it first. So it could be done now because all the steps we did earlier for adding Q1 and Q2 are already there. All we need to do now is put that particular file or any subsequent files into that folder. So here I've navigated to the folder and I have this Q3 file. All I need to do is put that in here, move that into the period file or period folder. And when I go back into Excel, all I need to do is refresh the query. So refreshing the query is fairly easy. All you need to do is go under uh, data, refresh, or in the table where it outputted it, I can just right click and click refresh and the Q3 data will show up now. So that's the second way we can append that data. So I mentioned before earlier, um, if you wanted to get into M some M code on the first example, there's kind of an easier way to do that. Instead of going through and clicking on everything, you can just type something in into the M code and it will automatically show up. So let's go back to the first example. Let me open up HR and append queries and I'll append it as new. And it's going to I'll just append HR and IT for now. Click OK. It will give me a pen, a pen number two. This is correct. We have our first name, last name. This first row is headers. Click and load. I'll load this as a new one. Let's create a table on a new worksheet. Click OK. And we have HR and IT. 
So how do we add the other one in? Well, if we go back and open up this file and we looked at the M code, you see that it just is source. All it did was do this command. This is an M code command, table dot combine HR and IT. And the HR and IT, that is the query name here, right? So if we already loaded those queries and I didn't want to do too much appending by clicking anymore, all I need to do is type a comma here and maybe a space is fine, but you don't really need a space. Legal, make sure that it is spelled correctly, press enter, and it puts it in there. So it's only one step. That's what it's doing, HR, IT, legal. And if you already uploaded other queries in there, you can just type in comma and then that query name. Click close and load. This is going to apply to another worksheet, that new worksheet that I had and that's all you needed to do. So that's that extra bonus step if you wanted to go into the M code itself and just do it. So that's the way that you can append tables using Power Query. The first example is if we didn't do it too often and we just had a couple files, they're all the same structure, that's how we can do it. The second example, if you do this on a recurring basis, maybe um, monthly, weekly, or even daily, you just need to set it up correctly first, make sure everything's the same. And after that, you just put the files into the folder and click refresh and it should do it for you. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.